Hi. So, uh, remember how we had this whole neat space here? Well, now we gotta build something on it. Please ignore my backed up iron farm. That's technically a good thing. That means I have way too much iron, which I do. But besides that, we have to build a building here. But in order to build a building, first you have to design that building. Makes sense? I hope it does. So today is not going to be a carrot craft episode. Today is going to be a building episode. I'm going to teach you to the best of my, uh, to the best of my ability, how to, um, how to build, uh, how to build my next project and the process in which I build this stuff. Here we go. All right. Drill Sergeant Jim here, and today I will be teaching you how to build. This is a very rigorous process. No buts, no hesitation. You must be ready at all times, and we must have complete seriousness at all times. Ready to begin? Good. Let's begin. The first step is to figure out what you want to build. For example, Maybe I want to build a giant cow, or a model of bedrock, or maybe you're a simple man and go with the pig. Either way, you have to make up your mind because I am not going to wait for you. This is the military, and we do not wait for scum like you to move their butts. Like art, the first step is to begin with simple shapes. For example, I want my project to be kind of white, so I'm going to start with what you would expect. A white box. Here in the military, you must dedicate yourself to this art. That means no slacking off, and you must do everything with your own hands. All right, men. Now that you have learned the value of hard work, we can now move on to the next step. Texturing. Now, even though I am 100% a legitimate general, I still do have my faults. And one of them is texturing. I am terrible at it. You see, the point of it is to make this white look like there's different variations of white. So it doesn't look all plain and boring. Because, my friends, the military is not boring. This might take a while because, well... Like I said, a legitimate general like me still has his faults. Here we go. All right, so now I could have done many things with this. Here are a few examples. You could have something like this, where everything is kind of fading inwards. Something like this, where it's kind of starting to come up. You know, start with darks and then work your way up to the lights. Or you could even have this when it starts dark in the middle and then extends light to outwards. But in war, you have to be unpredictable. That is why I'm doing none of these designs. And that is for two reasons. One, to show that I am a legitimate general. But two, because, well, uh, this season my builds are usually uh, simpler anyways. So. so, so there you go. <laughs> Yay. But yes, the general idea is the darks and a fade to light. I didn't have much room to work with here. Like, on a larger scale, you can make this look a lot more convincing. And generals are supposed to be convincing. So, uh, make him not a real general. I don't know. I mean, for now, the, the, um, the turtle shell speaks for itself. As you can see, I am a general, so you must respect me with it. What was I just saying? Oh, whatever. Uh... What are your trades? It had to be done. Anywho, now that you have completed uh, texturing your stylish box, you now need to think about uh, what you want a box to be. For example, a box could be many things, but in my case, it's going to be a... Uh, the oiled rig headquarters. So I'm going to want some uh, plugs flowing into here. Maybe some uh, cool futuristic designs, if you know what I mean. But anyways, yes. Whatever you want your build to be, uh, you should start thinking about that now. And start to add those details. And as for me, 
I, General Jim, am now going to add my details. And trust me, there are a lot. Alrighty, now that you've added your details, and a lot of bats, sorry, I, uh, I, uh, I may have got my hands on a couple spawn eggs there, but, uh, yes, you have added the details. Good. This is exactly what you want to do. Maybe, <laughs> maybe your build shouldn't be exactly a box. You know, when I said simpler shapes, like, you know, box, and then maybe another box on top of that, y you get it. But yes, he here are all my details. So, uh, this is kind of like part HQ, part factory. So we have this, this is going to go kind of an unnoticed area because it's kind of ugly, but it's also really cool. Uh, this is like a kind of more factory lava bit. And then this is where I'm going to be sending in some of my, uh, farm items, as you can see, you know, the, the, the pathway for the water. And over here is just more simple, more simple, and a, uh, an attempt to make a helipad. Sorry, sorry, it's not that great. And on the roof, we have a... There's a party on the roof. Yay! <laughs> Everything that's either black, white, or blue is invited. Because apparently those are the futuristic colors I've chosen. Also, yes, cool helipad. Now, there is one thing missing. And that, my friends, is an interior. But that can be solved in a very easy way. PNT. So, <laughs> let's not try to blow up all of our hard work and uh, put this TNT to good use. A bit of that. Cool people, don't look at explosions. Results? I blew a hole in the floor and in the roof and also scared lots of bats. Um, you know what? Remember what I was saying about hard work? Yeah, no, uh, maybe, maybe your life problems can't be solved by TNT. I'm sorry. You know, you know, as a military general, I was really hoping that it could. You know, because explosions are cool. I'm a military general, and I command the rain to stop. It actually listened to me. What? <laughs> the weather listens to me more than my own soldiers. That's depressing. Seriously, though, uh, while an exterior is great, people are going to be spending most time in the interior. So, uh, we should probably start working on that, shouldn't we? All right. So, as you can see, with the interior added, we have had to make a, a few slight changes. For example, one of which being that this ice thing with my gym name on it now has a it's it's not just a rectangle anymore now has a this bit here those these blocks over here and the reason for that is there are some ugly hoppers underneath it and well uh you don't you don't want hoppers to be on your uh your name logo so uh that's a big no-no. And then, uh, this is another sad thing. Once again, because of hoppers, I had to, uh, substitute the, uh, redstone blocks over there for, uh, shroom lights. I hope you, uh, I hope you don't mind. I miss the redstone blocks, too. Shroom lights are the, uh, the best second option, I, I say. Uh, anyways, it is time to look at the interior. It is, so, for my design, okay, so, Back to generaling. Generali generalization. Wait, no, that's another word. I will be a general and do general stuff. Yes. Uh, for your build, you want to add details, like I said, that match the theme. My theme and also uh, my necessary, what I need to do, is uh, have a storage area. So this is going to be a, kind of the uh, collection of my goods from the farms. And the center of the oil rig. So, uh, expect to see some chests. So, as we walk in, you immediately notice the amazing chandelier that I did. You got a little, uh, lava here because lava's cool. And, uh, if you like that lava, then, uh, there's a lot more where that came from. I may have added too much lava, but, uh, I mean, like, lava's cool, so, like, it's fine. Anyways, we have a nice chandelier, some storage stuff, uh... 
Diamond pile, can't forget that. Diamonds are amazing, you know, you know. Diamonds, diamonds. So uh, I put this diamond here, thrown here for two reasons. One, because uh, they're cool. And two, well, uh, I was too poor for netherite. So um, yeah, and then in the center here, uh, on the on the server, this will be looking into the ocean, but uh, since in creative on a super flat mode, there is no ocean below you. I opted for a uh, a different thing to be below you, and that thing is nothing. So uh, don't break this glass. Anyways, that is how you build whatever you want to build. You start with simple shapes, then texturizing. You start to add texturizing through your base. For me, this wasn't too much. Larger scale projects, you're going to have to do a lot of it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, then details. Think about what you want your build to be about. Mine is super cool and futuristic. Emphasis on the super cool. So uh, that's why you see all this um, super cool stuff behind you. And then there's this one bit we haven't covered yet. What if you want to do something, add a detail or whatever? But you don't know how to do it. Well, in the military, we seem to be uh, optimizing to higher tech options. So, uh, in this case, you use the internet. So now, I want to build a satellite dish right there. But I don't know how to build a satellite dish. I've never done it before. And, Willie, I, uh, I don't want to try. You know what? You should always try. So, I'm going to try. Give it my best effort. And, uh... We'll see what happens. All right, I did it. Behold my satellite. Look at it. Look at it in all its glory. Look at this attention to detail. Completely symmetrical. And a wide variety of color options. And it's... It really just... It really just makes this build look so much... It makes this build look so much better. Sorry, I, I, I can't say that without cracking up. No, it's it's terrible. Blow it up. Sadly, iron is blast resistant. Dang it. At least it um. At, at least the satellite is actually functional somewhat. Uh, but no, this satellite stinks. No, we are not going to use it. So uh, let's hand the job over to some uh, more qualified people. All right. If we head over to the all-knowing Google. We can see what, uh, perhaps a better satellite design. All right, uh, here's a good satellite, but it's not exactly the type of, uh, theme that we're going for. So, uh, moving on, moving on. Okay, that's a cool satellite. That's a good satellite. That's a really good satellite. And that's, uh, uh, that's not exactly a satellite. All right, so we have found our design that we like. It's got a good theme, a good color tone. And it has a really nice golden block in the middle. Let's take this as inspiration for our satellite on our build. Sigh. I have tried so many different things. I mean, like, I, uh, okay, basically, the general thing is, I just don't think I can get a good-looking satellite in this space here. Maybe someone more qualified than me could do it, but I just... I just, I just couldn't. I mean, like, the things in those pictures were, like, 10 blocks, you know, at a minimum, probably more like 15. Like, like, I have to fit a satellite in only six blocks of space. So if you can do that and make it look futuristic, please tell me because I would love to see it. Hopefully my other idea will be easier because if it's not, well, uh, 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 you know what? We'll just put nothing on the roof. You know, if that doesn't work, we're just putting nothing on here. All right. So uh, since I couldn't do a uh, satellite dish, I just went with an antenna. And it's, uh, uh, once again, I just didn't have big enough space for the antenna. But maybe, maybe, maybe in another project for another day, this could become a mounting station for a uh, um a much bigger satellite dish, which we uh, which we need. So this this does provide an opportunity, but it is that opportunity is not for this episode. But for now, General Jim has, has struggled very much to teach you how to build something. 
I hope uh I hope you learned something. If if anything, uh well, you know, start with simple shapes, then texturizing, then details, then um uh then try to do things and fail. Um okay, well I will see you in the next Carecraft episode where we build this um monstrosity. Or maybe we'll just have to get the resources first. I don't know, I don't know. This 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 is um a lot of blackstone.